In this question, they're asking us to write the equation of a line perpendicular to another line and that also passes through a specific point. Writing equations of lines can always be done by using the format where we need one, the slope, to a point, and then after we get the slope and a point, we plug that information in to the point slope form of a line. y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Now this isn't the only way that you can write equations of lines, but it is a way that you can get the equation of, of a line with a given set of characteristics. So it's one of the methods you, you can use. Now, first when I look for the slope, I noticed that they didn't tell me exactly what the slope was. But they did give me information that would allow me to do some work where I could find the slope of my line that I'm supposed to write the equation to. See, my line is supposed to be perpendicular to the line with this equation, 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. So thinking about the relationship between perpendicular lines, that relationship is that perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite in sign and reciprocals. So if I can find the slope of this line, then my slope will be the opposite in sign and reciprocal to that slope. And that's the one I'll, the opposite in sign and reciprocal will be what I will use. So we need to come over and do a little bit of work for our slope. Now in this example, we need to first find the slope of the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. And then we'll be able to then see what this slope is and then get our slope of our perpendicular to that line. So in order to find the slope of a line when they give us an equation, we need to first get y in a side by itself because we want to put the equation in slope-intercept form. So here, I don't have any fractions or parentheses. The term with y is on the left-hand side, so any term that doesn't have a y has to be moved to the other side. So we will subtract 3x from both sides. That will give us 2y is equal to, well, 6 and negative 3x are not like terms, so I have to write it as negative 3x as a separate term and plus 6 after that. Now I still want to get y on a side by itself, and I have 2 times y right now. So I'll need to divide both sides by 2. And this gives me y is equal to, and then when I have several terms in the numerator of a fraction over a denominator, I can break it up as separate fractions. So I have negative 3 over 2 times x, and then plus 6 over 2. And then finally simplifying, this gives me y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3. Now again, I want to know what the slope of this line is, so I can get my slope that's perpendicular for the, my line that's perpendicular to this one. This slope is the coefficient in front of the x after you've gotten the y on a side by itself. So my slope for this line is negative 3 halves. So my slope, because my line is supposed to be perpendicular to this one, is change the sign and flip it over. So it'll be a positive 2 thirds. So over where I have my slope, I'm going to be Replacing that with knowing that the slope is two-thirds. Now a point that my line goes through. Well, my line goes through 9 comma negative 2. And remember, your point is your specific x and y coordinate. So that's an x sub 1, y sub 1. So now we're going to plug those values in. My slope is two-thirds. My x-coordinate is 9, and my y-coordinate is negative 2. And just simplifying that equation, we have y plus 2 is equal to 2 thirds x, and then 2 thirds times negative 9 is a minus 
18 thirds or simplify that is a minus 6. Last step, we'll subtract 2 from both sides and we get y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 8 for the equation of our line meeting those requirements.